what's going on guys welcome back to the channel as soon as i press the record button something some dude on a bike decides to just run past the house right to know <laughs> anyways guys the walking dead we're here once again another week another time till we get these extra it's actually six episodes not four with one down we got five to go so Episode 18, I don't know what it's going to bring to the table, but it's definitely interesting to see that they, the continuation of um, whatever was going on. I'm happy to see Maggie. She's back in Alexandria now. So I don't know how the dynamic between her and Negan is going to go. It's still very touchy. <laughs> it's a very touchy thing that is happening. Um, I don't think Maggie will ever ever forgive Negan for what he did but I think she could you know work around him you know what I'm saying be the bigger person if you will with my woolly ass here looking looking all out of place I cannot stand <laughs> I'm growing out my hair but I hate looking at it you get what I'm saying like the way how it is now I just hate looking at it I might get frustrated and just cut the whole thing off but it is what it is we are here it's kind of dirty right now, even though I'm washing my hair almost every day, pretty much. Cause you, you know, if when you're growing your hair, you can't wash your hair too much. Um, you just got to make sure it stays moisturized. I know it, you know, make sure your scalp stays moisturized and all, all that craziness. <laughs> but it's good for the hair. It's good for the hair, natural oil and all that good stuff, right? Let's go watch the episode. I will see you guys for the review. All right, so that was episode 18, season 10. Bro, they are killing me. So first thing I want to talk about is the Leah introduction, this character. Apparently, Daryl was out there bumping and grinding <laughs> while he was looking for Rick. Um... You guys know how how much I don't like when shows do stuff like this. Like, don't force something on because basically you introducing a character at this point and a character, the way how the introduction was done, right now it's, in my opinion, unnecessary. But if there's a payoff at the end, as in she coming back, like she and Connie coming back at the same time, that's going to create some serious drama for Daryl because we know we know how Connie felt about Daryl. And also now we know that Leah has those kind of feelings for him. So if they bring back these two characters at the same time, now we got something. So I'm thinking that's what they're planning to do. I don't know. <laughs> But it seems like that's what they're trying to do. It's going to be something to see the dynamic between these two girls that, you know, you know, Connie was really feeling Daryl. And we know that Leah, how she felt about Daryl. Now, was the chemistry there? I wasn't really feeling it, but I get it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Both of them, two vulnerable human beings in that situation, they came together. I mean, as I said, it was a lot of sexual tension there. <laughs> I could I could feel it to the screen. I'm talking about like natural chemistry. Chemist natural chemistry with someone is a little bit different than sexual tension. Se sexual tension, because sometimes, sometimes you 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 have this this um animalistic um very intense feelings towards somebody it's not like you know you want a relationship or anything you just want to get down and dirty you know what i'm saying like sometimes that does happen and the feeling is mutual you get what i'm saying and you act out and now i know that some people are gonna say oh oh that was great chemistry built in in, in a short amount of time no it wasn't <laughs> No, no, it wasn't. I, I wasn't feeling any 
sort of chemistry between those little shots that they had. They were re they were trying real hard to bring this character into the story. I wasn't really feeling it. But as I said, if later down the line there's a payoff and this is not just a one-off memory of Daryl, then we can see something happening there and her becoming a, a, a character into the show that I might like. You know what I'm saying? I don't dislike her character. I'm just saying introducing that character right now for what purpose? Just for a memory? It doesn't really make sense. It's got to be something else. We don't have any confirmation that she's dead, right? So she must be coming back at some point. Who knows? She might be with she might be with the people by now who's who Rick is with. Who the hell knows? Yeah, you know I'm saying um so I'm looking forward to that. I don't have much to say about this episode because it was basically just Daryl's memory and his interaction with Carol and Leah and how Dog came into the picture and stuff like that. So it was good to know about that stuff. Um, the conversation that they had at the end between um, Daryl and Carol was one of those conversations that I felt was necessary, but at the same time, did we need to go over that again? You get what I'm saying? Did we need to? Because we knew that there was. You got to also understand that there are unspoken things. You get what I'm saying? There are unspoken things amongst friends. And we just you, you just don't bring it up because Carol has accepted that, you know, she may not. Have, she may not have been entirely right by doing what she did with Negan and going after Alpha and all of this stuff, revenge on her own, you know, her putting them in a situation where all of them could have died in the cave with the horde and all of this other stuff. Like, she's regretted all of that. So to bring up all of that now because Leah is probably dead or alive or whatever the situation is, was in my opinion, it was unnecessary based on the relationship between Daryl and Carol. I think those, one of the best relationships in the show is Daryl and Carol. So I would think that Daryl would have been more understanding of things and not bring that up right there, but they were by themselves, so I get it sometimes. You know, you need to get certain things off of your chest and not just ignore it. But as I said, amongst friends, a lot of times there are things that you just, you know the person, so you kind of empathize in that regard of knowing that that person is very regretful about something that they did instead of, oh, I got to tell them to be re regretful or you got to tell them, oh, you need to be more empathic. No, it, it, it it's, y you get what I'm trying to say? It just, it doesn't work like that in most, in most situations that I've witnessed. Maybe you guys, it's good to get things out into the ear and not let, and not let it marinate. But I thought you know what I'm saying? That it was very obvious that Carol was very regretful of what she did. It's just that she felt like she was right for letting Negan do what she did. But then, you know what I'm saying? She said she's not sorry about it. And she shouldn't be. She shouldn't be. In my opinion, she should not be um, regretful for letting Negan go, Negan go at Alpha. She should not be because it got the job done. Um, yes, some people might not have agreed because of who she used to get it done. And, you know, um, it was after the situation in the cave that caused them to lose Connie. And, you know, um, we all know that Connie is still alive. You know what I'm saying? As I said, um, in the last, yeah, we all know she's alive. You know what I'm saying? And she's going to come back at some point, but Whenever they choose to do that, I thought we would have gotten something about, you know, Eugene and Ezekiel and the others there. Um, I thought we'd have gotten some update about that this week, but no. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, as I said, there's nothing too out of proportion that happened here. It was concentrated basically on Daryl's flashback to when he was looking for Rick. So pretty cool stuff. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate y'all. I will see you guys for the next one. Don't pay attention to my hair. I know it doesn't look right right now. That's because I haven't combed it out or anything all day. So, um, so yeah, man.
appreciate the love as always like comment subscribe if you're new i'm out peace later alligator <laughs>